Hey guys, and welcome back to the Crypto Report. I'm Crypto Kip, and in today's episode, we're going to be talking a little bit about the Fed. We're going to be talking about Dogecoin, Elon, the Musk, and we're going to be talking about tax paying capabilities for crypto in Illinois. What? Okay, well, let's check it out here. We have a lot going on in the world, uh, ever changing are the markets and the governments are starting to chime in on what they may or may not be doing along with the banking systems in terms of how they're approaching cryptocurrency so let's dive into the charts here for the day uh make sure before we do you do hit the subscribe button make sure you smash up the like button as well also if you want to leave a comment in the chat down below make sure you're doing that we want to know what you guys want to be staying up to date with what you guys want to be hearing about on a day-to-day -day basis also if you want to take advantage of some free money make sure you click on our referral links to crypto.com or femax in the chat box down below don't miss out on the free money guys so let's dive into the charts so we are looking at the cryptocurrency market cap here and we are currently sitting at 1.7 trillion dollars for a cryptocurrency market cap uh we have been struggling with that two trillion dollar price level but you know i think this is a lot of the altcoins that have been coming down as you can see bitcoin dominance is coming up just yesterday i was looking at this bitcoin dominance was at 40 percent. so bitcoin dominance and dominance climbed about two percent here over the past 24 hours which is pretty good um and we're looking at bitcoin and you're seeing about 38.6 we flirted with 40k again yesterday that forty thousand dollar price level is absolutely critical for bitcoin um it seems to be really the spot to look at um and if you look closely you can kind of see you know we're in this channel this is what you call a trading channel and we're bouncing up and down i mean the low of this channel is 33k and the high on this channel is about 45k as you'll see and we're bouncing up and down this is an extreme low i mean really we're going between that 35 that was low i mean you're seeing most frequently at hitting 38k and that 40k level and so we're going to continue to bounce back and forth between that and so we have a big move i, I you know we tested 33 we tested 45 but i think it's really tick tack tick tack between between 38 and 40k 38 42k about and uh we're waiting for a breakout and a lot of the big traders are looking at this and saying we're due for an impending breakout any minute and you know what i do agree um the crypto markets as a whole you can see in the last 24 hours um you know not a lot of movers uh we're really getting uh solana is just stagnant you know even terra luna which has been flying is kind of down a little bit today um we're looking at you know no action here um it, it's just a stagnant market and that that all goes back to bitcoin and its price level that is struggling why is the bitcoin price struggling well there's uncertainty in the world and we're kind of waiting to see what's going to happen with the fed so i mean let's take a look at this um right now there's actually some meetings today and tomorrow uh tomorrow jerome powell with the fed is going to come out and he should be giving an announcement on what they're going to do with interest rates i was reading a story yesterday and it's here as well uh you know he is supporting an increase of 0.25 percent on short-term interest rates so this is a little surprising and it really is going to uh affects retail investors and also your large hedge fund uh investors it's going to really affect everybody out in the market um this is how you anticipate what the market's going to do based on what the fed is doing what the interest rates are how much it costs to borrow right and so that's how you're going to determine whether the market's going to go up or down you know us retail investors we don't really think much about that but it's kind of the whales uh game that we're playing when you're a retail investor and uh you're trying to figure out what the market's going to do well you got to know it's really up to what the whales what are the guys with the most money and the girls with the most money going to be doing with uh their stacks and they're going to do what we call whale games uh and until we get a decisive move in one direction and then 
we're off to the races or uh, there's ultra blood in the streets. So either way, you know, some people say maybe there's a recession coming. Some people say, you know, maybe there's not. Um, you know, some people are buying the debt. I, I tend to dollar cost average. Uh, you know, you can see that dollar cost averaging is one of the best strategies out there. If you're buying the entire time, then in 10 years, if this, if cryptocurrency is valuable, whatever you're investing in is valuable, then you will have been in the right at the end of the day. Um, another story here today, we do see that Elon Musk is tweeting again about doggy coin, father Dogecoin tweeting. Look at this face. Unbelievable. He is hilarious. Um, he is tweeting a lot lately, uh, just as, as always, I guess. He says, as a general principle for those la looking for advice from this thread, it's generally better to own physical, oops, it is generally better to own physical things like home or stock in companies you think make good products than dollars when inflation is high. I still own and won't sell my Bitcoin or Ethereum or Doge. So. That's big news. There was a little spike in the price. Uh, that was two days ago. There was a little spike in the price of Dutch. So he still has some pump ability. But remember when he was tweeting in the bull market, when the markets were flying upward, when Bitcoin was doubling and tripling in value? Well, Dogecoin would fly. Right now, like he's like we're saying, you know, the markets are scared and these pumps are weak. And even a coin that wants to pump ain't going to fly to the moon. So even Papa Doge can't pump a market. But What's the good news here? Well, the good news is, is that a billionaire like Elon Musk, who owns the top uh, American manufacturing car company in the United States, is buying and holding cryptocurrency, which is absolutely fantastic. We're looking at more mainstream adoption as time goes on. And, uh, you know, here's another story, actually. So uh, Steve Wozniak, uh, Steve Wozniak with Apple actually is talking about bitcoin and how he thinks that it's going to go up uh he believes that bitcoin is going to hit a hundred thousand dollars and he was talking about that so apple co-founder steve Wozniak expects bitcoin to hit 100k and that's a huge story i mean he even talked about it in this article look at that face he, he loves it i mean he, he loves bitcoin uh, I just really feel it from all the interest he explained. The interest in crypto is so high. And when he means interest, I don't know if he means like interest as in like people are interested in it or you can earn a lot of interest through DeFi or lending platforms. Um, but, you know, and when Bitcoin went all the way up, well, I got scared and sold all my Bitcoin except one. I just recently think that Bitcoin's going to 100. So he talks about how he was buying uh, cryptocurrency. So you're looking at tesla and apple i mean we're here guys it's still the infancy but people are starting to buy and argentina made big uh, bitcoin a currency legally and look at the state of illinois where we are actually seeing our illinoisians uh i'm from illinois adopt cryptocurrency potentially so in what capacity well you might be able to pay for your taxes in cryptocurrency they're not going to consider it as a legal tender yet but you do see some representatives for illinois starting to talk about this and you know that's kind of riding on the back of biden's new uh order executive order where he's demanding that government agencies start looking at how they're going to start handling cryptocurrencies and determine what their plan's going to be for that so you're starting to see moves of uh crypto adoption into governments into banking into uh, the macroeconomics in terms of uh, some of the larger organizations and companies from across the world like Tesla and Apple and there's other ones that are not American companies as well out there but we're moving forward so you know guys I'm always going to be a DCA kind of guy um, we are looking at dollar cost averaging we are looking at buying when there's blood in the streets we want to make sure that we are taking advantage of the dip and if you do look at you know the crypto market we are down we're looking we're below the two trillion dollar market cap you look at the price of bitcoin let's look over the last year you're way down i mean you're basically getting uh if you buy at these price levels you're almost getting a 50 percent discount let's call it like a 35 40 discount you know and you look at the all-time chart for bitcoin 
we're going up. Um, you know, could it could it dip back down to 20k? Yeah, sure, it absolutely could. I ho I hope you're buying if it does. Could it go flying right back up to 100k like Apple co-founder Steve Wozniak says? Absolutely. And I think that's the more likely scenario. Um, you know, you got a lot of these institutional holders coming in and buying big bags. I just don't think that they're going to sell these big bags in panic like a retail investor like myself or or you might, you know, if we're holding Dogecoin and it starts tanking, yeah, you your kind of instincts, you know, you want to sell. Uh but you know, the institutions aren't quite buying uh except for Elon, I guess, a big big bags of Dogecoin. They're buying Bitcoin. It's basically digital gold, right? We're looking for the asset class of the future. Cryptocurrency is proving to become that. You have 55, probably more now, million dollars that have been donated to the Ukraine with this horrible war that's going on in, in Ukraine uh, where in, in Russia. Um, but guys, if you, you know, you're looking at this market and you're wondering what, to, what it's going to do next, uh, I challenge you to say, well, what are you going to do next? Don't look at what the market's going to do. What are you going to do next? Are you going to sit there and you're going to sit on the sidelines? Are you going to panic out? Are you going to panic in? Or are you just going to dollar cost average and are you going to ride this to the moon one day? Maybe not tomorrow, maybe not next week, maybe not in five years, but think about that, guys. So I am Crypto Kip. This is the Crypto Report. Make sure you guys are staying up to date with all of our stories. We're going to be coming to you every single day, guys, and uh, make sure you're staying tuned because we're just getting started. All right, everyone. Thanks so much for tuning in. Uh, take care. Have a great week. We'll come back at you tomorrow. Bye-bye.